Alright, how's it going? Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a rather inexpensive water jetting system which we'll use to unclog any type of sewer drain, uh, whether it be like an exterior foundation drain or an interior sewage drain. So what we're dealing with today uh, is a clogged gutter drain under the ground and basically your only options are you can try to snake it out like a regular old old-fashioned mechanical you know metal snake that's one thing that works uh, you can dig it up and replace the line uh, that's obviously not a very good option or you can use a water jet system to unclog it and it seems to be a very effective system because it washes away all the debris while it's unclogging it and if you've priced it out to have someone come and do it is a lot of money um, to buy complete water jetting system is a lot of money but if you have a gas uh, pressure washer then you're halfway there that is the main component the expensive component of the system after that uh, we just need to fashion some kind of actual the hose and the nozzle is the most important part All right, so I'm always trying to save money and do things on a budget DIY so I've put together a little system here that hopefully it works good and basically all the parts that I use the links will be in the description below so you can click on that and there'll be a link to my blog with uh, some of the other uh, more detailed step-by-step -step instructions and links to the parts as well so the main thing is this hose here and I went with a 50 foot line and it's rated for 4,000 psi it's quarter inch and it's got two threaded connections on either side depending on your pressure washer um, you know will depend on what you need to do to adapt it to work so there's a couple different ways to do it the expensive way to do it here's my pressure washer here it's got a m22 like thread on fitting in the front and you could get a shutoff valve that adapts to this and then after that we would connect that line and that would be how a more expensive like uh, I guess you'd say real uh, water jetting system works. They usually have some kind of valve to turn it on and off. Um, but we're going to do it a little bit easier, a little bit simpler. It'll work just as well. So we're going to leave this hose on right here. And most pressure washers have fittings that come off on the end. So if I take this fitting out here, you'll see. It looks like this. If I come over here, this is the little adapter fitting that I bought. So we'll thread this on to the end of the hose here and then we have another end like that here and that will go right into the end of our nozzle. So basically we'll just pull the trigger like normal to activate our line. On the other end of the line is the nozzle. So it's got one high pressure jet in the front and what that is for is as it's going down the line, it's blasting the debris away. And then if you look, you've got these four jets on the back end of the mushroom here. And what that does is that pushes it further into the pipe. So you, it will actually help pull itself down the line for you just by using water pressure while blasting what's ever in front of it with that one. All right, so the hose... These are both quarter inch lines, but one of them has a swivel fitting. It doesn't really matter, but this is the side you're supposed to connect to the outlet from the pressure washer or your gun. This is the side that we'll use on the end for the nozzle. So I'm just going to take a little bit of Teflon and seal these up and get them tightened on there nice and tight. A couple wrenches and we'll be ready to connect it to the pressure washer. Alright, so I've got my fittings made, tightened down nice and snug. Wipe off any excess Teflon, and that's we're ready to go. So, installing this to the pressure washer is just as easy as snapping this in place. And now we're going to go try to clean out this drain to see if this thing actually works. Alright, so we got it hooked up. You can see it snaps right into the end of the nozzle there. Here's our hose. So if I 
press the trigger here. That's what we're looking for. Here's the gutter we're gonna be working on. They need to take this piece off. And like I said, it's clogged right about here. So about three or four feet into the line. I couldn't get any further. So just get enough room to work. All right, so I'm gonna leave the water off for a minute, see how far we can get. Just put this down. This is about where it gets stuck, right here. So you definitely, when you start, you want to have it down in the ground. Don't start with it right inside the pipe because then the water will spray up in your face. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. I can feel it trying to pull it. I want to work it back and forth. Right, so it's already past the point where it was stuck. So that's good. Go ahead and pull it back, work it back and forth. corrugated pipe, it might try to get hung up easier than if it's a solid pipe. Just keep working it, you'll feel it move. So I'm definitely through where my clog was. Alright, so I got through my clog, I mean we're way through my clog, um, it's good to work it as far as you can, back and forth, I, do, I mean uh, I'm all about overkill, so I'd bring it back up, work it at least five times, that way you know the pipes are clean, you can also get like a cheap inspection camera, the way you can take a look for yourself to make sure it is clean, but um, it really does work really well for stuff like this, it works equally well as uh, on larger plumbing like sewage pipes in the house. This actually is almost a little bit harder because it wants to get caught up on the ridges in the pipe here. So under about $50, as long as you got your gas pressure washer, you'd be able to do your own jetting. You can even use this on like a septic leach field, the lines that go out to your septic system, etc. So hopefully the video helped you out. If you like what you saw and you want to purchase the same type of setup for yourself, like I said, there'll be links down below in the description. Be sure to like the video, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.